Hello everybody and welcome back to Certified Collectibles. This is another episode of First Appearances of the Week. This is Wednesday, February 23rd, 2022. We'll be giving you all the first appearances hidden in your comic shops today. Now this week we have a pretty good lineup for you guys. I think we have three first appearances, eight honorable mentions, so 11 titles and all to go through and definitely some good books in there to add to your collection. So let's go ahead and get started for the first appearances of the week, week ending February 25th, 2022. First up from Marvel Comics, Ghost Rider number one. This features the first appearance of Zeb, a dark magician. This also features the first appearance of Tali Warroad, an ex-Shield agent, and the first team appearance of a government agency tasked to investigate Ghost Rider. This is also the premiere issue of this series, so this is one we definitely think you should pick up and add to your collection. There's quite a few first appearances in here. We always say pick up any Marvel titles with first appearance and new characters. This is no exception. This is one we definitely think you should add to your collection. Next up from Marvel Comics, Carnage Forever number one. This is a one-shot anthology of stories featuring the Carnage symbiote bonded with new host. This is also the first appearance of Elsie bonded with Carnage, probably temporarily though. Now this is one also we think you should probably pick up and add to your collection. The Carnage oh, Venom franchise, incredibly strong right now. And this is the first appearance of Elsie bonded with Carnage. This is one that's probably worth picking up for the cover price. We don't really think you can go wrong with this one. So go ahead and grab this one here for your collection. And finally from Image Comics, Supermassive number 1. This features the first appearance of Inferno Girl Red. This also features the first appearance of Rogue Sun. Now this is one we did highlight a few weeks ago, but due to printing errors or distribution errors, this was not released. So this is coming out this week instead. And this is one we think is a great spec bet. You know, this is one we do think you should probably pick up for your collection. Image Comics has a lot of their comics picked up for small screen and big screen projects. And this one here has potential to be picked up and made into something bigger. So this is one we do think you should pick up as a speculative bet. If you can't though, put it on your B list. Definitely keep an eye on it though and address it later. And now for the honorable mentions. From Blood Moon Comics, Ice Canyon Monster Number 1. A noble shaman releases a curse by unleashing a monster into the waters of his native land that will grow into an enraged, unstoppable beast. Now this is one we think is probably a speculative bet at this time. Blood Moon Comics hasn't really had a lot of attention on their titles. They haven't really had anything picked up for small screen or big screen projects. So this is going to be a speculative bet if you choose to get this one. It does sound like it can lend itself very well to a small screen or big screen project. So there is potential for this. But like I said, Blood Moon Comics, relatively small, relatively new. They haven't really had a lot of attention on their titles. This is a speculative bet. Keep an eye on this one, but you can put this one on your B list for now. Next up from Boom Comics, Killer Affairs of State Number 1. Caught and put to work as an on-call assassin for the French government, Killer has to adjust to working with a handler, a partner, and living life as a civilian. Now this one here does sound like it can lend itself very well to a small screen or big screen project and Boom has had a lot of their titles picked up for these projects. So this one here, once again, it's going to be a speculative bet, a little bit more promising though than the one we just mentioned. So this is one we think might be worth picking up for the cover price and specking on. For three or four bucks, you could be sitting on a winner if this gets made into something big. If it goes nowhere, you're out three or four bucks. This is one we think you should spec on. Pick this one up if you can. If you can't, put it on your B list, but take a look at it later on. Next from Image Comics, Step by Bloody Step number one. An armored giant and a helpless child cross a world brimming with beasts, bandits, and deadly civilizations, spurned on by the earth itself that won't allow them to stop. Now this story here sounds very interesting, and Image Comics has had a lot of their stories picked up for small screen and big screen projects, and we think this here can lend itself very well to a streaming series or a small screen project. So this one here we do think is probably worth picking up and add to your collection. This will be a speculative bet though, so if you can, pick it up. If you can't, put it on your B list, but keep an eye on this one. Next up from IDW, Star Trek Klingons number one. This features the origin of Klingons. Now, Star Trek is not as popular of a series as it was maybe five or 10 years ago, and there's not really a whole lot coming out for Star Trek as far as small screen or big screen projects. And this features the origin of the Klingons. So this one here may be a B-list item. If you're a big fan of Star Trek and you wanna have the origin of Klingons, by all means, pick this one up. We don't think this has a whole lot of future value, but once again, if this is under collected now, it can definitely be worth something later on. In our opinion, this is probably a B-list item. Pick it up if you want, but otherwise put it on your B-list. Next up from DC Comics, Teen Titans Academy number 12. In this issue, the identity of Red X is revealed, and this is also the return of Red X. Now, this is one that's probably worth putting on your B-list for now and just keeping an eye on it. In this issue, the identity of Red X is revealed, but it really all depends on how important that character is in the DC universe and this particular title series, and if they stretch this character into a small screen or big screen project. You know, if DC pushes this character into a streaming series or TV show, it may bring more awareness to this character, make it more popular, and therefore this might be more important. 
now that you find out Red X's identity. But once again, we think this is probably a B-list item. Keep an eye on this one here, but put it on your B-list for now. Next up from Marvel Comics, Ben Riley Spider-Man number two. This features the return of Spider Carnage. Now this is likely a new character since Ben Riley, who previously bonded with the Carnage symbiote in the Amazing Spider-Man number 410 to become Spider Carnage in that issue, is going to actually fight the character in this particular issue. So this new Spider Carnage is probably going to be a new character. So this is one we do think is probably worth picking up for your collection. It all really depends on who this new Spider Carnage character is. But this is one we think is probably worth specking on. Go ahead and grab this one here for your collection. Next up from Marvel Comics, Miss Marvel Beyond the Limit number three. In this issue, the identity of Corinne, a teenage shapeshifter who had been impersonating Miss Marvel, is revealed. Now, we have highlighted this issue in the past, but due to printing or distribution delays, this has not come out until this week. This is one, you may want to put this on your B-list, just keep an eye on it. It all really depends on how important the identity of Corinne really is in the Marvel Universe in this particular title series, if they actually do something with this character in small screen, big screen projects. So this, in our opinion, is a speculative bet if you choose to pick it up. We think you have some time on this one here. Put this one here on your B-list. And finally from Marvel Comics, Silk number two. Now this is a team up of Silk and Luna Snow, but there is a mysterious new villain referenced in Silk number one that does not seem to have been fully revealed in that issue, so it may be revealed in this particular issue. If so, this is one that you do want to pick up. This will be the first appearance, well the first full appearance of a new villain character in the Silk title in the Spider-Man universe. So this one here we do think you should pick up and add to your collection. We think this one here is a good one. So there you have the 11 titles that we have for you guys this week. Three first appearances and eight honorable mentions. Definitely some good books in there to pick up for your collection. Please feel free to drop some comments in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And as always, please remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for joining us here at Certified Collectibles, and we'll see you again next time.